Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be tying a really simple, really functional and effective fly all over the place and that is a CDC sedge. So i am got a size 16 hook, going to be tying the body out of a hair or hair's ear. So I'm just trying to pick some of the creamier fibres because I want this one to be... Um, I'm actually picking it straight off the hair's mask so that way I can control exactly what colour. Uh, dubbing I'm going to get. So I'm going to tie a creamy style one today. So I've got a mate who's been fishing up on the key. We're smashing it on this uh, good old mat up there. So he said, he asked if I could tie this one for you. So I'm just plucking that hair's ear straight off the mask just so I can control exactly what colour it is. Alright, now make sure you leave yourself plenty of room there at the front because we're going to tie a sighter onto this one as well to make it easier to see. So don't make that mistake of just crowding the eye and not giving yourself enough room. Now the wing of this fly is CDC. So I've just got three CDC feathers there. I've picked some really small ones out of a pack of natural CDC. And I'm just trying to align them here in my hand so that they're all the same size or thereabouts so that's not it and that way once I tie this in I don't need to use a cigarette lighter I don't need to do anything like once it's tied it's tied and it'll be a very neat finish so that looks pretty good to me so tail you can really uh, sorry wing you can really vary how like long you want it to be um, this is pretty much what I go normally nothing over the top, pretty much end it down near the back uh, of the fly. Now, where are my scissors? Just going to trim that there and wind that down. Now one thing I really like to do with all my CDC flies is um, to put a sighter on them. Um, you don't need it most of the time but when you're fishing in mottled light and it's coming in and out of um, in and out of you know, that uh, shady and bright water, you're going to want this on there because it just makes it so easy to pick up coming out of the shade. So use a bit of glow bright or floss or anything you have. And you really don't need much. So tie that in on the top. And like I said, you, you don't need it most of the time, but the times when you're struggling to see your fly, it makes a massive difference and you're glad you tied it in. Now I'm just going to do one turn of thread behind my wing there, just to kick that wing up a little bit. Um, it just looks a little bit nicer. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of dubbing in front of where I've tied that sighter in. It's just a neater, nicer little finish there. dubbed a bit too thickly there. Pop him there. And then, you know me, it's going to be half inches and then not super glue for this one. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of head cement on there. Or nail polish. And that's me done. Super simple fly. Works all over the world. Um, I've tied this in a creamier sort of colour. But you can go... You know, you can go natural, you can go dark grey, you can go black, you can do whatever you like with it. But essentially, it's a super sim simple functional fly that will work wherever you go. So, give it a go.